Hello guys, it's Luke Mead here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to quickly design a simple Facebook ad that meets all the Facebook ad criteria. Let's get straight into it. So here I am in Canva. We're gonna hit create a new design. And in this case, we're gonna go custom size and make it a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. This is nice and square and is gonna let the ad be shown in a lot of formats. Later on in this video, we'll make a f um, another post to be in story format as well. So in this case, we're gonna be showing off these shoes because everyone loves shoes. So we're gonna drag those in from our uploads. If you haven't got images, you can always hit upload and upload them there yourself. Or we can use the Canvas inbuilt element section which has free photos for you to use. So I'm gonna make these shoes a bit bigger and let them fill up the screen. When you're designing a Facebook ad, you've got to remember that there are restrictions on what you can and can't do. Facebook doesn't like you displaying content with text on it. I should say ads with text in it because it looks spammy. So we want to design our ad to be clean and essentially text free. If you start having text in your ad, then Facebook is going to restrict who sees it. So you want to keep your text to a minimum or none ideally. In this case, we're going to add some background colors to draw the attention in towards the image. And we're gonna do this by having the lines of the background run towards the shoe. So we're gonna do this by creating a block, a, sh a square, giving it a color, turning it diagonally, running it from corner to corner, and then sending it to back by right clicking and going send to back. We can then duplicate this by clicking it and doing Command C in Mac or Control C in Windows and pasting it again with Control V or Command V and lining that up there as well. We can then change the color once again to something that complements it. I'm thinking this color and we'll go right click center back. And ta-da, we've got a quick and simple Facebook ad that meets all the criteria. What's great about this ad is the diagonal lines break the viewer's attention. So when they're scrolling through Facebook, they'll have their view distracted because I see a diagonal line. And these lines lead towards the image in the middle, which brings it into focus. So it's really an effective visual device for training the viewer's eyes. Now, this is a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels, and we can download this as a PNG for our Facebook ad. But Facebook ads also show their designs inside of stories so we need to create a story ad and do a story variation so if we go home and create a new Facebook ad we're gonna go through and we're gonna find if we just search story we can see we can create a story ad which is 1080 by 1920 so that's the right ratio and here we go I'm gonna click create a blank story ad and we're gonna do the same thing we did then but just recreate it using the story size. So we're going to drag in the photo again, center that, square it up in the middle of the page. That's nice. We're going to drag in the elements. So we're going to go across here, rotate that. You can see I'm going to rotate it a bit less than 45 degrees now. So if I position that there and then drag out this corner, you can see it doesn't quite fit yet, so I'm going to rotate it a bit more. That looks better. A bit less even, maybe. A bit too less. This might be perfect. Yeah, that's good there. Drag that out there. Arrange send to back. Command C and duplicate that again. Position that there, change the color to the color we want. It can be any color we choose in this case. Center back. And ta-da, there's our ad in a story. So that's how easy it is to create a Facebook ad inside of Canva. Once again, the reason, I just want to reiterate, the reason why there's no text in this ad is because Facebook doesn't like text in ads. You scroll through your Facebook and Instagram feed and have a look at what you can see. So keep your Facebook ad simple, clean, and Facebook will share it more and more for you. We can hit download, and we've got those two images now. We can open them up here, and you can see 
that, we are good to go. There they are. Beautiful. So now we've got matching images that pair together well, one for the news feed, one for the story, and we're off to the races. Thanks so much, guys. Keep well. I'll speak to you next time. Ciao, ciao.